Hi, and welcome to Apron Academy. I thought, hey, why not? Let's go out and look on their sites and try and find uh, different games. I've been on Kickstarter. I've become backers of some games. So I've journeyed to Itch.io. And I come across this uh, virtual novel game. And it's in development, obviously, because this is the demo. And this is about a lad, well, a young man, I say, who is wanting something in life and he gets the opportunity which will change his life forever. So let's begin. Okay, let's uh, start here. Welcome, we hope you will enjoy this demo. Please know that the full game is available for pre-purchase for $5, but it is undetermined when it will officially be released. I actually enjoy this game to the point that, yeah, I'll be interested in buying it. I would actually do that, but I would at least like a release date. This game was last updated in November 2018, which would have been last year. We have got uh, options down at the bottom. Save, load, skip. MC, I think that is main character voice. Auto, Preferences, and Menu. Carry on. A quick note as well. Taylor, our main character, has a voice. However, you can toggle the main character's voice off or on in the quick menu below the dialog box, which is this area. That's actually intriguing to actually have a main character's voice. Well, it's always interesting to have a voice to all your characters, to be honest. Thank you again for downloading this story demo. <coughs> Good day. Welcome to the story of Apron Academy. You will be viewing this story as young 24-year-old Tyler Schmidt. Now, please know that this game was created by Michaela Laws using the Renpy Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you enjoy this story. Well, he sounded uh, authority wise. Nice name. Did you ever just sit down and think about your life? Where are you going with your life and what are you going to do with it all the time? I often thought about this every day in my bedroom. I would lay back in my bed and stare at the ceiling, wondering where my life was going to go. I didn't have a job, and I didn't really have a passion other than playing video games and relaxing. Hey! A guy to my own heart! <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not a moron by any means of the word. In fact, I graduated from a state university with a hefty bachelor's degree. The program was that my life had a lack of drive to do anything with my degree. So you basically 
be got a top notch degree and can't decide where to go. Hmm. You know what? Let's have a look at this. Well, listen to this. Main character's voice. Done to kicking straight away. It might be gone to the next page. So I'll read this and see if it kicks in after this bit. It really wasn't about me being lazy, but more so of me not being motivated to find a career or job. There is a clear difference between laziness and lack of motivation. At least that's what I tell myself. This not the main character, or is this his thoughts? Okay then, I probably need looking at. Still, I can't say that my life is totally free of responsibility. I live in my parents' basement, as you do, doing house chores as a form of paying rent. Luckily, my parents didn't care that I didn't have a job as long as I kept the house clean okay reading story at least that's what I thought dun, dun, dun. oh finally there is music and noise in the background not just my voice. I might actually put this uh, music we you hear now at the uh, start of it so you've got something whilst I'm actually talking just in the background. Right. It was evening when it happened. I was passing through the living room to get food from the kitchen and my parents stopped me. Hold on there, Tyler. That's the dad. Sweetie, we need to talk. That's the mum. And whenever you hear, sweetie, we need to talk, it's either the talk or you have to move on. Worst things, mummy and daddy's having a divorce. Am I wrong in thinking that? Let me know. Right. Let's put that on. Yeah, it's changed colour. From the sound of their tones, the conversation we were about to have was going to be serious. I gulped quietly before turning back into the living room to see my parents on the couch staring at me. Astounding. Oh, is that me switching it off? Wait a sec. Because I'm sure that's me there. Hmm. Sure. What is it? Sit down. Then we'll talk. Yes, Dad. Another sign I was growing more nervous about what they had to say. I walked over to the empty chair in the room sat down, looking to them with curiosity, but nervous eyes. All right, what is it? There you go, that's the main character's voice. So when it changes colour, I've switched it off. All right then. Actually, you guys have to tell me, would you like to hear me just read the thoughts of the main character or read 
the main character's dialogue plus the thoughts? Or would you rather let me read all the dialogue? I can do it either way. I just would like to know. How long have you been out of college, Ty? Excellent name. Where was this coming from? My father helped pay for my college education. Monitoring his debt like a hawk ever since. Why would he ask such a question? Uh, two years? A but was coming. I felt it. And we're very proud that you graduated college. But... There it is. Boop. There it is. There it was. I mentally prepared myself for the boot, knowing that it was coming. Were they finally sick of having a... Mucha son? Look, you need a job. We can't keep on spoiling you and letting you live here without some form of income. Good point. I thought me doing the household chores was payment for rent. Okay. Honey, we meant for you to get income for yourself. We don't mind the help around the house, but... I would actually uh, step in here and say she's kind of got a point. If you do chores for the rent and the income what you get whilst you've got your own job, you're keeping that money. So that money doesn't deteriorate and it gives you a chance to fully understand it and use it and save it up. I think that's what they're trying to get out of you. Let's not sugarcoat this. You are an adult, and you need to start making money to eventually get a place of your own. There's just no way around this. Okay. So much for me taking my time. This wasn't exactly a fire at my heels, but the pressure of the idea became nerve-wracking. How was I supposed to find a job when I felt no motivation to? My degree definitely opened some doors, but would I ever enjoy the work I went into? I didn't want to make my life a living hell for a job I wouldn't. Um, eh. I looked at the floor between my feet and nodded in understanding. I knew there really wasn't anything I could do to fight back, so I just had to buckle down and figure out what I was going to do with my life. In a form of respect, or maybe condolence, my dad planted a hand on my shoulder and gave my body a soft shake. When he released me, I stood and went to the kitchen to get food before returning to my room. Wow. Toughen up, Bucko. The weight of the situation pressed down on my shoulders like a boulder. I found myself questioning my path and wondering where the hell it was going 
take me? Was I going to sink into an endless loop of medicry and unwanted work? Fuck me. What am I going to do? Wow. Change your tone. I put my food on my desk and slouched in my chair. This was turning out to be scarier than I thought. Still, I had to relax and think. What was I going to do? Oh, here we go. Uh, right. So, I've actually got choices to make in my life, and all these choices will have a reaction to the game. Let's see. Look for jobs on the internet. Go to town and try to find a local job. Leave it for another day. So that's gaming again. Uh, you know what? Let's get some fresh air. Because obviously we just had a, a weird, strange, uptight talk with the parents. So let's go out and find a local job. It had been a while since I walked around town. Not because I was recluse, but because whenever I went out I always had a clear goal and ignored the world in the duration of my errands. Maybe there were openings in town. I quickly got into decent clothes and headed out of the house. As I didn't have a car, I took a bus into the nearby set of strip malls, hoping to find something. However, every shop I inquired apologized and told me there was no openings because of the season. Okie dokie. Well, damn. My motivation was back at zero. How was I supposed to find anything when everything was taken? Even the mineral or monogamous jobs I found were filled by someone. I returned home later that day. I rated that I had wasted my time and tired from the Ventures I had. Throughout the evening, my mind continued to try and organize how I was going to achieve my goal. Despite it being a goal I couldn't care less for, I ran through my usual social media and email checks and decided to wander through the sights mindlessly. What caught my eye was a conversation thread led by my parents on one of my social media sites. That's not a good move, is it? Coming across a conversation that your parents are having on the media site. My son is finally going to get a job. Ouch. Oh? Where will he be working? 
aren't. Oh. He's still job hunting now, but soon enough he'll find one. Yeah. Doesn't he have a degree? These actors sound young, or is that just me? Well, that one did. I felt my eyebrow twitch in irritation at the conversation. Was I really such an important topic to mark publicly? I read on and on, reading over 50 comments and replies talking about me being a recluse, a mutual, and needing to get off my ass. Wow. <laughs> I feel sorry for this dude. So much for faith in your own son, Pomps. As I was about to close the window, a message popped up on the page from the site's messaging system. It was from my uncle, who, from what I remembered, was serving the military. Tyler, your father posted about you needing a job. There we go. That's the nice voice. I grimpsed. A bit slow, uncle. I messaged back, not wanting to be rude. Yeah, still looking. My uncle replied almost instantly, and what I read surprised me. It's like a blessed miracle being sent directly to me from a digital wave. I have a job for you. Interested? I would be. A job. My uncle was really offering me a job. Okay, let's go for this. No, I'm good, thanks, though. What's the job? Yes, please. I'm intrigued. What's the job? I became worried. My uncle was part of the military, after all. Who knows what he'd have me do. However, I didn't expect him to dance around the question. As professional as he was. And it does actually sound professional. It's a job that will put a roof over your head and food on the table. I'll tell you more, if you want it. Ooh. Tricky. Really? I had to agree to it before knowing the details. I grew even more concerned about the job at hand. What if it was labor? For the military, what if I had to be more a labor guy for him? The guy was a military man that already stuck the fear of God in me with images of a drill sergeant spitting and yelling in my face. I didn't want to sign up for a job that required my eardrums to be blown off or for someone to get in my face. I thought for a moment, however, what if this was my only chance at a job? My options were limited I needed to find something fast. Okay, we've got the same three uh, choices again. Let's go for it. Come on. Miracle, be with me now. 
And on this uh, note, as you can tell by this uh, picture, please go ahead and do the same. Yes, please. Thumbs up. He likes it. Hint, hint. I was against a wall at this point. I needed to nab a job and fast. Regardless of what it was. If it was something to get my parents off my back about it, then I would be fine. I'd find my motivation some other time. I quickly replied and waited. What was in store for me? Finally, my uncle replied. I will come over tomorrow with the details. Pack your themes. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night. Pack your things. It is the massive room. How the dickens? What the dickens? Before I could reply, went offline. I stared at my screen, rereading his message over and over to absorb what he had said. Yeah, it was kind of a big shock to the system, wasn't it? Pack my things? What the hell? <laughs> Same reaction I had in my head. I was moving out. Where was I going? What kind of job did my uncle have in mind? This was turning out to be ridiculous, but I had agreed. I had no choice in the matter anymore. Wow, it's like signing your soul over to, well, God knows where, and not getting it back. Wish you all the best of luck, mate. But hey, at least I got a job. Yay! I signed off and leaned back in my chair, arching my head over the top and staring at the ceiling. A dull hum covered my thoughts, sinking into the situation for a brief moment. This was going be interesting. I took the remainder of the night packing what I could before passing out. I woke up, though, to the loud pounding sound of a fist slamming repeatedly against my door. And you know what? I think that is the perfect place to end this episode. Uh, I do apologise if I uh, misspoken or misread out uh, some of the words. Uh, some of them was actually quite hard to say and a bit of a tongue twister, so I do apologise for that. Uh, and the eerie nothing was kind of put me off uh, from the start to where the parents came up and then from when he left his parents to to this point there was no background music at all and that kind of I don't know, it was uneasy. I actually like having the background noise, the ambience going on and everything else, especially when I'm doing uh, virtual novels and, well, any other games. Uh, but for you guys, I will be actually putting the music what was around the parents at the beginning and throughout the entire game. Uh, I think it'll be like a loop. 
So hopefully that works out well. But yeah, so far, it's actually showing some sort of promise, because obviously it it's took a bit of a while and motion to get to the big main event story. But it's happening. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And as usual, all my media links will be down in the description below, plus all the games media links will be down below as well so you can go ahead and check this out but well, please leave a like a comment down below subscribe to the channel for more apron academy plus all the other games i upload to the channel hit that bell for all notifications plus have a beautiful wonderful fantastic day great fantastic people because you are you know you are, because you're watching, you're liking, you're commenting, you're helping the channel grow, so you're fantastic. So thank you.